commemorate this D-Day, June the 6th, the 41st anniversary of uh, the invasion of Normandy. Now let's go back to the ring announcer, Chuck Hall. Now we'll postpone that just for a moment now as the Bugle Corps make their way in. Don King, who put this show together Ladies tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, would you all please present your American flags as the United States Marine Corps Band presents our national anthem.
We'll be back with the main event for you in just a moment. We are eagerly awaiting the main event tonight for the World and Heavyweight Championship. The challenger ranked number seven by the WBA, Diamond Jim McDonald from Nashville, Tennessee, has stepped into the ring. He is unbeaten in his 16 professional fights, 15 by knockout. And there he is, the young man, reaching for a piece of glory tonight, if he can get it at the expense of a great one. Michael Spinks from St. Louis, out of that Olympic crowd of 1976. Your World Light Heavyweight Championship and a pro record of 26-0. But we saw other people with their hands full seemingly. The young man Hernandez against Ramirez, and of course the upset scored by Ratliff over De Leon for the Cruiserweight Championship tonight. So all things are possible in this game. You never know, especially when you have a kid that's a banger like he is. If he can punch as good as all his assistants walking into the ring with him, then we're in real good action. Because they got the red shirt for gray going out there. <laughs> Well, it is a chance that Carl Williams had against Larry Holmes recently. Acquitted himself very well, not given any kind of real hope by most knowledgeable people. He really did press Larry Holmes and they could think about whether or not he would continue. I'll tell you, they're, they're having some problem with the ring. There's some loose boards in there. It happened uh, earlier on. And they're checking the ring out right now because in the middle of the ring is a couple of loose boards and the commissioners are in the ring right now. We might have a little bit of a uh, problem over there. Notable. But in the middle of it all, the madness, the ring announcer Chuck Hall. Representing the Nevada State Athletic Commission at ringside for the next contest of the evening are Mr. Sid Brogich, Mr. Art Lurie, Dwayne Ford, Freddie Little, and Sammy Macias. Representing the WBC, Jose Suleiman, and representing the WBA, Senors Alberto Aleman and Gilberto Mendoza. The officials assigned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission for the next bout of the evening. The judges are Dave Moretti, Dolby Shirley, and Lou Tabak. The timekeeper is Charlie Roth. Counting at the knockdowns, James Shortfoot. The attending physicians at ringside, Drs. Donald Romeo and James Game. And your referee is Davey Pearl. This is the co-feature event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the undisputed World Light Heavyweight Championship. Introducing, in the blue corner, fighting out of Nashville, Tennessee, ranked number seven by the WBA. He is an all-marine champion, weighing 172 and one quarter pounds. He is undefeated in his professional career, 16 wins, no defeats, with 15 KOs. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the challenger, Diamond Jim McDonald. And in the red corner, from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing an even 175 pounds, he too is undefeated in his professional career. 26 wins, no defeats, with 18 KOs. Ladies and gentlemen, the undisputed, late heavyweight champion of the world, Michael. the table to tape the comparison the Donald three years younger Spinks a couple of inches taller a couple of inches in reach advantage Michael Spinks weighing in three pounds heavier than the challenger has tonight and of course Michael Spinks having to fight back from a personal tragedy the loss of his fiance leaving him with her two-year-old daughter and he says now he's finally shaken the depression from that tragedy of his life and finally wants to fight again he has not been very active as light heavyweight champion. Ed Ames here at ringside tonight, along with a host of other notables and celebrities. Michael Leon Sphinx, the brothers, who won gold medals in Montreal. Leon with a somewhat checkered professional career, but Sphinx is what everybody's respect. And now he comes for the first round against McDonald. This is scheduled for 12 rounds. McDonald has not fought the caliber of opponent despite his 16-0 record with 15 knockouts that, of course, Spinks has. 
But his last bout got him here. He was impressive at it. Against Cleveland Watkins, a contender at Atlantic City back in April. Knocked him out of the seventh round. That earned him this bout. Time to gym as tight as a drum. He's going to have to get loose or going to get knocked out because he's not just doing anything. He's too tight. He's got to let his hands go. He really is. You can really see it. That is understandable, of course, in this situation. What an opportunity for him. Against one of only two undisputed world champions, Michael Spinks, the light heavyweight kid. A little man in the middle who's handled many big fights over the years, referee Davey Pearl. That's a little big man in there. That fella really can, a real excellent referee. Sure is. And he really knows how to handle a big guy. Both obviously feeling each other out, although Spinks is going a great deal more confident as he goes about his task of doing that in his first round. and lunges, almost spilling Spinks with it. As you can see, not many blows have landed. My, Michael's jab is just window dressing. He's looking to fire that right hand right, right behind him. And, uh, McDonald's so tight that he's going to catch one of those. He really is. He's tighter than Ratliff was. He recovered to win the Cruiserweight title from Billy Owen a while ago. But McDonald's got to loosen up a whole lot more against this man, Michael Spinks, with 30 seconds to go in the first round. Well, Spinks' lack of inactivity is showing also because he's missing by a wide margin, a lot of punches. McDonald bangs for the body of Michael Spinks. Spinks continues to pursue him around this Las Vegas ring. Looks a soft left hand, doesn't follow with the right hand. Now just five seconds left of the first round, and is scheduled for 12. Michael Spinks and Jim McDonald. The World Light Heavyweight Championship goes to a second round after a very uneventful first. Having a problem with the ring where the insulite padding is separated. That's the padding on top of the ring floor. So they're trying to push it together. Someone might trip over that middle of the ring. That's where the problem is. The only noteworthy item of the first round was the expected tightness of the challenger McDonald. Funny thing, Spinks having trouble figuring this kid out from a little bit on the awkward side. He's zigging and zagging when he's supposed to. The Spinks can't tie this kid so far. So far, you know, but uh, Michael's one of the one of the few fighters today that I think uses all his given God's you know, attributes, you know, his height, his reach. Uh, he uses it to his advantage, and uh, I think it's like you say, uh, McDonald right now is kind of uh, awkward and moving around a lot, but uh, I think Michael will figure it out soon. Well, you raised a key point earlier. Uh, Spinks fires out two good-looking jabs there to McDonald. That Spinks has not fought very much. He turned down a chance to fight Larry Holmes for a million dollars. Said he didn't have enough time to prepare in three weeks, so he's into this one now. Well, uh, I talked to Michael yesterday. I had lunch with him, and he's looking to, uh, to hopefully make that fight because he does want to fight Larry Holmes. a relatively inexperienced opponent tonight at McDonald's. A minute left for the second round. Spinks taking charge more and more. Trying to open things up. Trying to carry the attack forward of the challenger. The this strike goes, the more confident McDonald's going to go. And it's only reason is because of the inactivity of Spinks. He's not sharp yet, and McDonald's take, is not taking advantage of it. You think Michael Spinks could use a few rounds here tonight? 
I don't think he wants to use a few because this kid looks like a very heavy puncher. They got all tangled up again with McDonald's head down low with 20 seconds to go in the second round. Lupe left that a shot to the body blocked by the elbow of Spinks. As he continues to fire off the jab and try to set his man up. With now just a few seconds left in the second round here in Las Vegas. At the bell to end this second round, we'll have a word from your local station. For the third round, still looking mighty tense, albeit understandable, against Michael Spinks. He's bent on proving he's the best fighter in the business, pound for pound. He wants that recognition before he retires. McDonald loosened up, believe it or not. He landed some good left hooks to the body, so it was a two-handed punch. So Michael's got to be a little careful with this kid. Jab, jab, jab. That's the Sphinx motive right now as they get tangled up again. First 35 seconds of the third round. One mistake that I see McDonald making is that he keeps, he keeps trying to, to score with a lead right hand. He could get countered very easily. Coming after Spinks there. I'll tell you, when he beat Willie Edwards, he was taking a bad lick in Carlos, and then he stopped Willie, Willie Edwards. So it's a mark, he's a good banger anytime. Well, he's got that heavy punch you talked about. You sure get the feeling this one isn't going to go the distance. They can both bang. <laughs> that was what you call bend him over Nelly. Good, good, good grab job. Put a little pressure on him. Put your weight on him. Right. <laughs> Donald's done that a few times tonight. Spinks quickly lashes out the left hand and digs three solid rights to the rib cage before Pearl finally separates them. Little redness in Donald's face. No, it's a cut. Looks to be beside the eye or up in the corner. About a minute left in this third round. McDonald showing pretty good hand speed there in reaction to Spinks thrust. But Spinks continues to come. Don looking at Pearl as Spinks takes four free shots to the body. The rip game. The jab again. McDonald right can't afford to relax those punches. That's where that's where Spinks is doing the job on him with those back shots in the back. Oh, looping left scored by Spinks. Left still beside the eye of the challenger McDonald, beside the right eye. So as this third round comes to an end, they'll watch me around one more time to the bell, and in the corner of McDonald, it'll, they're watching how they go to work on that cut beside his right eye. You're a pretty good judge of these things. What's it look like, Angelo? Well, it's a, it's a cut right in the corner of the eye. It's a shot you can, a cut you can take care of, but you can put some pressure on it, like he's doing right now. You got a little nick, ain't nothing. That's what he's got to do. But you got to press it with a gauze pad first, put the medicine in, that some more pressure will stop that cut. It's not a bad cut. Not yet. McDonald, who put himself into the hands of Emmanuel Stewart of the Clark Gym to try to further his professional boxing career, you might see here how this cut first began. Double jab and bring it back high, okay? Boom, right hand, right there. Started his problems in that third round. He's Done a pretty good job of cleaning it up. So we'll send him out against this man, Michael Spinks, the rating light heavyweight champion for the fourth of 12 scheduled rounds. McDowell's got plenty of guys rooting on him. Got 2,000 Marines here. <laughs> that's right, he's an ex-Marine, and that's one of the reasons that they are here, along with the commemoration of D-Day. <laughs> Spinks go 
goes to work on it now, scoring effectively. One thing McDonald can't do is reach the spots, but then he's going to get wind up getting nailed with a real good uppercut, which he knocked out some quite a few people with that left uppercut. Boom, he hits him with a hard right coming up at him in the first minute of this fourth round. The thing that Michael does very well is he stands straight up and he uses the height, he uses that leverage coming down with his, with his right hand. And when a guy comes in on, he has that vicious uppercut that he's knocked out a couple of people away. Michael, Michael Spinks is going for pay dirt for every punch right now. Everything's a home run. He's getting to tattoo his man more and more as the fourth round progresses. right to the head. McDonald thinks better of that effort. Midway in the round. That's what McDonald's got to do. He's got to gamble, go for broke, but he don't have a prayer right now unless he goes out and gamble. Well, welcome, KTVT, Channel 11 in Dallas. Hope you enjoy this little Sphinx pulls it out McDonald again. Here's the two-minute mark of the fourth round. That's right, Angelo. He doesn't have a player fighting outside. He's got to come in and take a gamble, put the hands into the propeller, and let's see what can happen. Good puncher, Carlos. Either hand. But he's got to let the hands go. Don't forget it. A couple more like that, it's all over. He's just taking far too much, far more than he's giving. Jim McDonald, the challenger. Chopping right hand by Sticks. Another one on the side of the head of McDonald. Two jabs, then the following right by Michael Spinks, the reigning champion. Going freely here in the closing seconds of this round. McDonald powder punching, hoping to catch it. But Michael Spinks very much in command at this stage as the fourth round draws to a close of this title bout. The challenger, McDonald, comes out for number five against the champion, Michael Spinks. And Spinks way ahead at this stage, no question of that. But McDonald has the power to catch it unless Spinks totally takes him apart. The last round was the beginning of the end because I was watching McDonald and he was watching the, the sound, the girl, with the round card. I know it's only the fifth round, so it's kind of rough. that guard up and it's penetrated by that quick jab of Michael Sticks time and time again. Three shots now with the left hand of Sticks. Right thrown by McDonald in response. He lashes out at Sticks. Heard him with that right hand. He did sting him. Put him on expected time for a left out. He definitely heard him with the right hand. From nowhere that right came. And that of course is the potential with this man. You can outpass him if he nails you on the right you can be in trouble. And that's what he's got to do. Uh -huh. McDonald looked like he was going nowhere until he landed that right. It's changed the tone of this round dramatically. Dickie! Now it's McDonald carrying the action to a stunned Michael Spinks. McDonald's been behind before, but he's got that good right hand we talked about. That's 150 to the 16 fight for him. I think that right hand got the attention of Michael, but uh -huh. he's not gambling no more. And this kid's going to nail him with that one punch. Now he comes after him, stings him with the right. He's got him hurt on the ropes, and down he goes. McDonald down on one knee. A dramatic turn about after Spinks had been stunned earlier by a damaging right by Jim McDonald. Now the challenger is up at the count of eight. And Pearl will let them continue. McDonald coming back toward the center of the ring. Trying to hang on now. He was hurt. There's the time remaining in the round. Will McDonald get through it? He hangs on as 
Sphinx bangs to the body and sends the left through. Up near the shoulder of McDonald. Looping left, this is the right hit to Mo. He's stunned again. He staggered with that blow. McDonald just barely hanging on here in this fifth round. Holding on now as he slips down the trucks of Michael Sphinx. Pearl oh, gets him up again. Michael plays 175 pounds on him. There's the right by Sphinx. Trying to win it right here if he can. There's the time remaining. Sphinx coming back valiantly in this round after being hurt himself. Can't quite polish this man off as the bell ends the fifth round. But what action here. Whoa. And there is Jim McDonald amazingly still in this fight. 30 seconds ago, I would have bet against him. That's the mark of the punch. And the way he went down and he got up, I think the referee wanted to stop him. He says, no. You know that guy's a Marine. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. With 2,000 more here to cheer him, is he tough? Well, but he yeah. did hurt Michael Sphinx he, he, earlier. He almost turned that whole fight around with the one right hand. And, and you know, he didn't really connect with it. It was more of a glazing right hand, but he can really that. punch. You're going to have to fight. If you this is what you're talking about. Now, out of nowhere, bang, that stunned him and turned around, completely around for a while as McDonald became the aggressor until later on when Sphinx nailed him. Jack, you look great when you that was the beginning of trouble for McDonald. As he finally went down. But did finish the fifth round. Here is the sixth. Oh, what a start. Sphinx can sense it. They both missed right hand. If they had both landed, would have had a double knockdown. They were heavy right hand. But Sphinx is doing the scoring of the two here against the game challenger to his championship, McDonald. Who now swings in direction with a combination that has Sphinx running for cover. What a bout. They're letting it all hang out here in Las Vegas. He is a good puncher with both hands, McDonald. Because he's hurting him with a left hook in close also. Bang, another They're both trading right hands. Whoever lays is going to be a knockdown. has to cover up again as McDonald finds that extra reserve and comes from nowhere. Back and forth they go into the sixth round. It is scheduled for 12. The title at stake. The World Light Heavyweight crown held by Spinx. McDonald has a, an amazing chin himself because he's taking some shots from Michael. And he sure has. which called bombs away. Oh, that's what McDonald has to do. He, he's got to. He's got to gamble. He's got to just bomb away and hope that he, he'll get lucky. He didn't come here to win this on points. Shoulder to shoulder. Up come those hands so quickly. Combination by Spence. Digs the left hand to finish that little volley of blow. Talking to the guard again about his condition. He takes three good shots. Then comes back after Spinks. Carter punching his way out of difficulty. Goes after him again. Spinks can't believe what this man is doing in response. And the Marines are loving this. I would have guessed they would not be fighting now. McDonald takes that left hook from Sphinx. Hangs in there for more. Takes another one. Less than 30 seconds to go in an exciting sixth round. Blood again around the right eye of the challenger McDonald. That surfaced three rounds ago and is more prominent now. Trying to cover up from the barrage for Michael Sphinx. But McDonald, make no mistake, has hurt the champion as well. Certainly in this round he has, as it winds to an end, number six. We got it looks almost exhausted. But back he comes to take the action of Michael Spinks in round seven. With a light heavyweight title at stake. Next 
going back to his formula of jabbing, trying to set something up. McDonald counter punching now with a flurry of blows. Remarkable puncher. I didn't think he was coming out for the round, Carlos. I really didn't. I thought they were going to stop the fight, to be honest with you. But this kid is that kind of a puncher where he's in the, he's in the fight. Well, he looked dead in the corner. He looked like he wanted to quit, and he comes out now, and he's just he's doing his thing. That's what he has to do is just throw combinations. If he's got that knockout shot, he can get it in. He's taken some awesome shots from Spinks. One of them did take him down for an eight count a few rounds ago, but here he is continuing on into the second minute of the seventh round. I think he has to land the big shot again, and I'm positive that Davey Pearl's going to step in on this fight. There's no point even scoring it because Spinks almost has the lead, but McDonald knows he can catch him with one blow and turn it around. If he can survive. This guy's got a tough chin. I think Michael should uh, start working the body maybe and uh, try to loosen him up. Michael's got to be very careful not to get nailed by this kid, but he is a pure banger. But not only oh, the, man, oh. the left hand. Chopping blow by Spinks there. McDonald leans in and comes for more with more blood now pouring. John, the that was no chopping blow. That was a Sunday punch. <laughs> and the kid took it right on the chin. That got was a great chin. That was a rocket. <laughs> and there he is. Body hand, McDonald combination. Spinks back with the left of the body. <laughs> Spinks showing wear and tear with the way he's missing those punches. And what's keeping this young man up? I have no idea. There's that right again. I he think, hangs on after that one. I think everybody in this in this place is wondering what's keeping him up. Time called by Pearl. He'll go back for a medical evaluation, perhaps in the corner. Have the ringside doctor check the eye of Jim McDonald and also how McDonald is generally. All right. Oh, man. Oh, let it continue. Donald says, yes, I am. Wow. <laughs> and McDonald takes it to six at the bell. Ah! We'll be back after a word from your local station. It's a race for a furious light heavyweight title bout with Spinks. That's there now, and the manager said, give it all you got, Marine. They're telling him, urging him to keep on loading. You're going to nail him and hurt him again, as McDonald has before. But of the two, certainly, McDonald has absorbed the heavier blows and received the bigger punishment. You're going to have a couple of very sore fighters when this one's over. What a brawl. And there's another fight where we didn't expect nothing, right, gang? Not that <laughs> not McDonald. What a fight. Great action tonight, an outstanding card for the Riviera in Las Vegas. Capped by this one for the light heavyweight championship, McDonald. Oh, he Spinks again! Goes to the body, and now pursues it. Spinks just when he thinks he has it made, gets stopped. He fires a right back. All out war in the center of this ring. Spinks is really hurting. This kid really putting hurt on Spinks, and he's, he's losing his leverage and his punches also. Spinks and down goes McDonald again. Pat is flush on the face as McDonald is down once more midway in this eighth round. And up he pops like a jack in the box. He's incredible. Oh, wait a minute, it stopped. Davey Pearl says no more. McDonald has finally had to bow out of this fight. As Spinks is probably the most thankful man in the world that Davey Pearl did that because the danger of getting nailed was ever present even when McDonald was hurt so badly. I think that last left hook broke McDonald's nose. Exactly, exactly. He grabbed his nose. Yeah. I think it broke his nose. Broke his nose, that last left hook. I think that's what happened to the youngster. Wow, what a fight and what an ending. We'll be back here in Las Vegas right after that.
We just found out that Booby here drinks the same beer as me, Corky, Sparky, Buck, and Boom Boom. Light beer from Miller. Now, Booby, Buck, and Boom Boom like light because it's got a third less calories than the regular beer and it's less filling, while Corky and Sparky drink it for the great taste. So Boom Boom, Buck, and Booby don't necessarily drink it for the same reason as Sparky and Corky. They all agree that light's the best beer to buy. Isn't that right, Booby? You bet, Boom Boom. Right, Bart? You got it, Corky. What about that, Sparky? You said it, Boob. <laughs> light beer from Miller. Everything you always wanted in a beer and less. How many shicks can you get from one disposable shick? Monday! Shick, shick. Shick. Tuesday! Shick, shick. Shick. Wednesday! Shick, shick. Thursday! Shick. Friday! Shick, shick. No one makes a sharp, long-lasting disposable quite like... Shick. Shicks does your disposable give you? So Michael Spinks wins it by a TKO. Finally, Davey Pearl had to step in and stop it. I think Angelo's right that left. Broke McDonald's nose the way he reached for it and stayed down that time, although he did pop up. Willing to go again as Muhammad Ali is there with Spinks in this uh, proud moment for him. And he has come back to win, I'm sure, a fight that he probably would say is the toughest he has ever had or for a long, long while because this man simply refused to quit. You talk about the spirit of the pride of the Marines exemplified in Jim McDonald. Oh, I think that's sensational. I think it's not a quiet evening with Don King. It's been a great evening of boxing. Big surprises. Surprise the heck out of me. That's a real good-looking young fighter. Exactly. What an exciting night of boxing. Boy, it was some great matches. It's going to be a habit, you know. You have these unheralded boxers who don't have comparable records with the champions they are challenging. They come in, and they put on a remarkable performance, as Jim McDonald did tonight. We said there was no question on points as to who was going to win the fight, but you also knew from the second round on there's no way this one would ever be decided on points. As Michael Spinks and McDonald traded blow after blow. Spinks, believe me, was hurt earlier too, as you saw. McDonald, of course, hurt the most frequently, and uh, in the final analysis, he was hurt beyond uh, continuing in this bout tonight. Yeah. But the heart, huh, heart of a lion. And this was just some of the punishment to this man. When the challenger had to endure. You'll have to make a yeah. break through here. Yeah, right He'd yeah. lean in, come back for more. Yeah, right through that. And then as yeah, the left right hand right. finally got through, the delayed reaction going down as Pearl separates them. And finally, oh, Pearl, as uh, we look at another angle of it, had had enough and finally stopped the bout. But uh, it was just remarkable all-out warfare, an all-out brawl here in uh, in Las Vegas tonight. Michael Spinks on his way to join us at ringside. Back to talk with him, but first let's pause for just a moment. I know you. You're never in one place for very long. But you can still save on long distance. With Sprint, you can keep moving. Call from almost anywhere without getting stuck for up to a dollar and a half extra on credit card calls. You see, with Sprint, you don't pay anything extra, ever. You just save up to 70%. Sounds good to you, doesn't it? I told you I know you. Call Sprint. Find out about it. Today, this car is a classic. But it costs more to maintain than it costs to buy. Brakes, engine work, rusting, two paint jobs. But now one part of this car costs nothing to repair. The transmission. When it went, I had it fixed at Lee Miles. And I chose their full auto ownership warranty. Smart. Because now I won't have to spend another cent for transmission repairs as long as I own the car. And that'll be forever. Lee Miles! D-Day Dynamite, and there was all kinds of dynamite certainly in that main event. A very happy, but I'm sure tired, Michael Spinks has joined me at ringside. What a bull. Oh, what a bra. It was a good one. It was a definitely a good one. Uh, I went in unknowing of Jim McDonald, but I knew I had tough kid in front of me. But I, I felt he was under a lot of pressure due to the fact that he was going against a number one guy. I mean, number, I say zero, because there ain't no number for me. I am it. 
in line with division. Well, you proved that again. He did, oh, yeah. He did uh, put you off balance, so he stung you a couple of times. He me a couple of times, but he never had me days, not no way. Because I pulled away on every punch he ever connected. I was in, in the floor of motion as he tried to throw. He went a good left hook, which I, I heard rumors on. Somebody told me he was left hook, but neither the left. That was not, not effective because I had my hands high all the time. But all the ones that are next, all the ones that want me, or I want them. And I know Larry Holmes is watching. I know he is uh, anticipating on getting in the ring with me or letting me get in the ring with him. It don't matter. I'd be glad to fight you. And I know you want me out of condition. I know you want me uh, in one, one day to work. That's all you want me then. But let me get a little shape. I'll, I'll take you on. And I'm telling you, and you let Bush talk to you about everything. And uh, I'm sure everything is put in the right place All right. at the table. So, But I have to give a lot of uh, praise to Jim McDonald. Tough kid. I know this. I mean, I, now I know why they called Marines leather necks. And I had a brother, Lee, I was there. <laughs> He, he uh, uh, brought me into the ring with, with the United States flag, and they all were rep I mean, I, I know why they represent our country so Michael, fine and well. Let's take a little break now. Uh, your record 27 and all, and we'll come back here in just a moment. All right. Good fight it was. Montana. Hey, Marino. Great game, man. Oh, thanks. A draw play in the second quarter. Great choice. You make a choice because it feels right. Can I buy you one? It's the least you can do. Diet Pepsi, 100% Nutri-Sweet. Uh, here you go. Don't drop it. 100% taste. See you, Dan. Joe, next year, I'm buying. Diet Pepsi, the one-calorie choice of a new generation. The Honda Motor Company has been improving transportation for over 30 years. There are Hondas that ride in the street. Hondas that ride in the dirt. And now, Hondas that ride on the grass. Introducing the Honda Lawn Tractor. Test drive one at your Honda Lawn and Garden dealer. Don Chevrier back with you at ringside in Las Vegas with a very happy but obviously <laughs> tired Michael Spinks. I know the story about Angela before you ask a question. I know you want to about how the Holmes thing you turned down because there wasn't time to train. What happens now? I know he want me in uh, less than a week or two, but he ought to give me a little time so it could be a good showing. I know he don't want to break Marcel's record with a, I mean, just uh, a fluke fight. Yeah, fluke fights. You know, you, you don't want that kind of recognition. I mean, like beating up a, a, a little light heavyweight. Well, I want to put put on a little weight for you. And, and you know New York want to see it. All the big cities want to see it. Everybody all the world want to see it. And I have to say a special hello to my man, Mackie Shillstone. We did it, Mackie. I want you to know we did it. And I want Mom to know we prayed. I prayed that you were here with me, Mom, and you guided me all the way. Well, what are you so going to do you. now? What would you do if Holmes decides that Carl Williams was too tough and you'll be tougher? He doesn't want to fight you. He retires. I'll go, go to his home. <laughs> I'll go to his home and, and, uh, and pick it. I'll pick it. Stage to pick it in front of his home. Stands that he's ducking. The undisputed light heavyweight champion of the world, Michael Spinks. And uh, and I'm, I'm sure he don't want that. I'll go down to the East and, and, and stage a ride all over the place, <laughs> saying that we won't lay at home uh, because he wants me out, out of shape. And I don't think that's a good way to fight anybody that's worthy. Mike, will you stay at, at Larry's Hotel? I will, if he, if he will allow if me to. I'm, sure, I'm sure he'll be up. Uh, I'll tell you, a mark of a champion tonight to me was me that you knew this guy was a good whacker. Not only with the right hand, he was a good left hooker. But yeah. you were smart enough not to go yeah, just had, one hand puncher. I had the best guys in the gym with me. I give all the honor and praise to them. A lot of honor and praise. Most of all, all the honor and praise go to the good Lord Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior that brought me through. I prayed every night that he wouldn't let me have any trouble with this guy, and he didn't let me have a bit of trouble. And yes, all the, all the teamwork that was put forth for to help me get ready for this fight. All the all BLP, and I say hello to everybody all over the world, all in St. Louis, New Orleans, uh, Las Vegas, Eastern, Philadelphia, Eastern, Eastern them Pennsylvania. All. <laughs> <laughs> Eastern, Eastern Pennsylvania. Yeah, Eastern Pennsylvania. All right. Michael, Let's thank you. It, we got we to take a break here. We will right now. Soon, so we'll come back come in just on, a Larry. moment. Well,